All right, I'm going to review the Arcadia iPhone 5 and 5S screen protectors. Uh, the, mon the part number is ACD30T, and they come in this little case here. Um, nice protective uh, cardboard sleeve. You can see each one comes with um, and a microfiber cloth for cleaning. Uh, this is the dust removal sticker. I believe so. It's for, and then it's a microfiber cloth, and then you get three of the actual screen protectors, uh, and then they've got these tabs for actually installing them. So there's tabs on the end here and then down here. I'm gonna try. I've got two phones. I'm gonna install one uh, using their tabs, and I'm gonna install one the other method uh, that I've used, which is the tape, and then you fold it back over to align it. So I'm gonna go through and install them. And I'll take a quick review of how these work, uh, and then I'll. Uh, review them compared to some of the other ones I've had, uh, some of the tempered glass ones and some of the other HD clear, which is what these are, so they'll be reflective and stuff. So I'll come back and we'll get these undone and get these all cleaned up and we'll start doing the install. So along with this, uh, you can see the how to use instructions here. Let's see if I can focus on these. Um, read all steps. Yeah, remove excess screen. Existing screen protector don't have one. Clean the iPhone screen thoroughly. Um, I use the microfiber cloth that was included and you just go through and clean up the screen make sure it's all dust free. Uh, on these two phones, this one here, uh, the 5C is is a hand-me-down, so you, I don't know if you can see it, it's got some scratches and stuff on it, so it's not in perfect shape. This one was a new phone for me, uh, so this one should be in really good shape. So we'll go through and clean these and then we'll go through and do the install. I'm going to start um, using the method recommended on this, the 5C. So the the steps are clean it and then you basically take it off and do it in a dust-free environment. So you, you take uh, step one on this number one tab here is take off the backing. Um, if you, I don't know if we can read that really well. It says, uh, please peel off the protective film before application. So you take off the protective film. Then you should have a dust free phone and then you line these up here and then drop it on top of the phone. That's how it's supposed to work. Um, one thing I was uh, I didn't see in was a um, usually you get like a little plastic thing. You can use a credit card. Usually they'll, they'll include one in the other ones that I bought where you can actually wipe it across the screen to get it to fit. And, and no bubbles and everything and you get the air bubbles out uh, this one actually went on pretty well I don't see any air bubbles on it at all so um, we'll go ahead and test it out and see how it went so once you're done with that you peel this back and that's the front protective coating and there's only one air bubble right there and I think I should be able to get that guy out of there it's close enough to the edge Yeah, I think that's out just with using my finger, so uh, not really necessary to have the, the thing. Um, alignment, I'd say it's really hard to do the alignment when you're lining it up that way. I mean, you can see up here, that's not quite on. Um, don't know how easy it would be to pull it and start over again. Um, the method I like to use to install these is take it out of the case like take it out of the bag and I'm going to use this method on this other one and that is with the protective backing the step one backing is still on there you lay it out on your phone how you need it how you want it then you use masking or use some not masking tape some scotch tape and you actually tape it on the sides so you line it up perfect while it's like this and then you use these pieces of scotch tape as a hinge then what you do is you peel this over, then you peel off the back, and then you stick this. So I'm going to use this method on this phone and see if I end up with a little better alignment. Um, I've used this on a couple of different ones. Uh, these kind of HD clear ones, as well as I have a tempered glass one. And the tempered glass one was, was harder to align, and I used this method on it. It worked well. So we'll do that. And for that method, so you tape it up so you get it aligned right, flip that over, Pull the tab, 
and then flip that just right back on top of the phone and then you kind of work it out this way and then peel the protective cover off and then with the protective cover you'll see those, the scotch tape sticks on there too um, a little bit bigger air bubbles but they still look like they're going to come right out with that method um, you can see the alignment's a lot better. You see the alignment on the top of that versus the alignment on I'm sticking there. The alignment on the top of this one versus the alignment on the top of this one. You can see it really well there on the front-facing camera. It's just really hard when you're dropping it. One, I actually did a couple test drops before I started recording too to make sure I had it aligned right, and still just kind of missed that a little bit. I don't think it'll affect the camera or the speaker or anything. It's just it's off by a couple millimeters, which. If you're a perfectionist, that could be a little annoying, but I really like using these. Um, it just it's really smooth. the The phone I have that I'm recording this with actually has the tempered glass cover, and these are just as smooth as that. And that was one of the things I really liked, and why I moved to the tempered glass as opposed to these for my my phone that I use as a daily phone uh, is that it's really it doesn't have the plasticky feel, and these don't either. I really like that the feel on these is is really good. Uh, compared to some of the other ones. So for the price, you, like I said, you get three of the screen protector. So I was able to do the two phones I have and then still have a spare if something happens to one, one gets really scratched. I, so far, these have been really, really good. Um, you know, like I said, the feel on them is great. They feel, you know, really, really smooth. Kind of, you know, like the glass of the phone is normally. Um, I have another iPhone and you, know, you put them all next to each other and you really these are almost the same feel just 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 really nice so I would highly recommend these I think they're great um, choose the install method you like if you like this one you do the scotch tape it makes it a little easier to align if you're worried about it definitely recommend that that way you get a couple chances to align it while the backer is still on you're using the scotch tape otherwise you can use the the drop method that they include here with these two tabs and just uh, you know just take a little extra time to align it obviously I didn't take enough time to do it because mine ended up off but overall highly recommend the product for the price you really can't beat it these are great